the directions as usual are uh, when a word and number arrangement machine is given an input line of words and numbers it arranges them following a particular rule the following is an illustration of the input and the rearrangement so you can see that the input is 62 floors game device 97 17 order new 33 48 shares 56 so it's a combination of words and numbers to be precise i think we have got six words here floors game device order new shares six words and six numbers three four five six numbers right so it is a uh, uh, input of 12 elements which has got six words and six numbers now there is a step by step process here step one to step six where it says step six is the last step of the given arrangement and uh, it is the indented arrangement i mean because the you know desired arrangement is obtained in the last step now based on this illustration we have to find out the appropriate steps for the given input one input has been given for that we'll have to find out the answers now first and foremost we need to understand what is happening in this step by step process here and how do we do that the first step is to look at the last step right never try to look at step one step two step three directly right just observe the input and directly go to the last step because last step is where you will understand what the logic is what are we looking for right the input was uh, not in a proper form right it was not in a flow it, it has it was just a random combination of words and numbers 62 then floors then suddenly we have game device and so on but look at output the step six it has got a proper sequence here right the first thing that we can observe is words and numbers are in alternate positions right starting with a word word number word number word number and so on so that's one point which you need to take care of right words and numbers have to be in alternate positions then uh, look at the numbers here if you observe the numbers 97 62 56 48 33 17 the numbers have been arranged in descending order right all the numbers have been arranged in descending order and look at the words the words are shares order new game floors device right these have been arranged in reverse alphabetical order right s o n g f d right clearly the words have been arranged in reverse alphabetical order so what are we looking for we are looking for uh, output which has got words and number is now words and numbers in alternate positions starting with words right all the words have to be in reverse alphabetical order and the numbers have to be in descending order now that we have understood the output logic let us look at the step by step process because we should also understand what is the rearrangement process that has been followed here right in which fashion the words and numbers have been rearranged so look at step one try to compare step one with the input so what do you see in step one first of all i think the word device has been brought to the first position in input this device was not there right so device was brought to the first position and then the number 17 was brought to the next position so i think device in 17 a pair of word and number have been brought to the first positions followed by everything else as it is right 62 floors game 97 order new 33 48 shares 56 you getting it so i think the only change that has happened in step one with respect to the input is device and 17 have been brought to the first positions now also try to understand why have we chosen these elements why the word device and why the number 17 if you look at the output you will know that device and 17 are the two which comes at the end so maybe something connected with this right so just keep this in mind that device and 17 have been brought to the first position everything else has been just shifted aside look at step two what happened in step two if you see the word floors and the number 33 have been brought to the first positions right floors which was elsewhere earlier and 33 somewhere else have been brought to the first position device 17 as it is and then remaining elements have been just pushed aside 62 game 97 order new 48 shares 56 so now we have brought floors in 33 why do you think we have brought floors in 33 look at the output before device we had floors in 33 and the same has continued right next in the next step device 17 flows 33 is as it is game and 48 have been brought to the foremost position so what are we trying to do we are trying to fix the words and numbers in pairs one word and one number and which word and number do we choose the one which is supposed to come at the end right we are coming in the reverse direction so first we have fixed device in 17 then floors in 33 then game in 48 then new with 56 then order with 62 and finally shares with 97 so that's the sequence right always pick one word and one number so we are doing the movement in pairs right we are doing the movement in pairs how are these numbers and words chosen simple look at the output and uh, understand 
right output had device in 17 at the end then floors in 33 before that then game in 48 and so on so in that fashion just keep bringing the pairs to the first position and keep pushing everything else inside finally what you will get will be the output right the output will have words and numbers in alternate positions starting with words words in reverse alphabetical order and numbers in the descending order now the same process has to be followed for the given input all right so let's look at what is the given input and then answer the questions so you see i've just taken the step six from the previous uh, example the illustration that was given because you need to remember this sequence now input is given new input has been given to us 82 officers associate second 44 15 26 extent reveal 55 38 and protection right so just arrange these according to what we had seen in the previous illustration so what happens in step one remember what is the desired output let us let us write the desired output first right what is the output that we are looking for it will be easy if you start with output right first list the output so what should the output have I mean if you don't want you can start with step one directly nothing wrong with that but you better get the output in place so we want the words to be arranged in uh, reverse order right so which word would come in the first position uh, p q r s i think second will come in the first position right the word second will come in the first position what comes after uh, second the next word uh, it should be reveal after reveal it has to be protection right reverse order p q r s then after protection it should be officers o p then after officers what do we have associate is there extent is there extent would come and finally associates would come you get it now put the numbers there numbers is very easy to fix right descending order so start with 82 next comes uh, 55 then we'll have 44 38 then 26 and 15 so this is what we desire to achieve now it will be very easy now that you put the output you know that we have to move words and numbers in pairs in this fashion so what do we do first associates and 15 i'm just writing the first letter there no need to write the full word associate and 15 right associate and 15 will be brought to the first set first position in step one now push everything else aside so you know compare with input 82 will come officers will come associate has already been moved second will come 44 will come 15 has been moved 26 will come then we'll have extent reveal 55 38 and protection what happens in step two in step two we will take associate and 15 inside because two more uh, words and numbers would come here and that would be extent in 26 e and 26 right so a and 15 have come inside now write down everything else dropping e and 26 because e and 26 have already been moved to the initial positions so we will have 82 uh, then off officers then what is s 44 26 and e have gone here so don't copy them again we'll have r 55 38 and p step three now this may look like a lengthy procedure but i would you know i would suggest that we all do this in the exam because it, it takes about a minute or so to do this step by step process but answering the question becomes very easy once you have completed it right so don't try to follow the shortcut technique of you know cancelling the words and numbers and drawing arrows to find the new positions because the type of questions asked here are not straight right we need to know the position of a particular element in a particular step from a particular direction so that would be a little complex if you go by arrows right so try to follow the complete process now what happens in step three we will just move e a i mean this uh, e 26 a and 15 inside always keep two positions free and find out what will come in these two positions what will come off and 38 officers and 38 now copy the remaining elements so a 15 is here we'll have 82 officers has gone there so drop that s 44 r 55 38 has been taken there p look at step 4 what will be step 4 step 4 will have officers 38 e 26 a 15 in this fashion what will come before officers in 38 protection and 44 p and 44 so p and 44 here so drop this in the you know when you're copying the remaining elements so a 15 then we'll have 82 s 44 has already been taken earlier right 
R and 55. P has also been copied. What is step 5? In step 5, we'll have P44 officers 38, E26, A15. Yeah, what will what will come in the first uh, two positions? I think we'll should we should take reveal in 55, R in 55. Right, R and 55. So up to A15 we have copied. What is left out? A2 and S is left out. A2 and S would come here. That's it. Done. We are done now. Why? See, this is step 5. What happens in step 6? We will take R and 55 inside. So reveal and 55 will come inside. And whatever A2 and S is there, this will be brought to the first positions. Of course, we will swap A2 with S because we need the word first. So see S82, then reveal 55 then p44 protection 44 then officers 38 then extend 26 then we have associates 15 and this part has already gone in the first position so this is the output i mean this is the complete process in which you have got the uh, in, in which you have got the full output here right the, the desired output all right again let me tell you that it is preferred you follow the complete process because it depends. I mean, if, if the questions asked are really complex, like sometimes they'll ask you how many words or elements are there between, let's say, 38 and S in step three of the arrangement. Answering such questions may get a little complex if you try to follow cancellations and draw arrows. If you are confident, you can do, do that as well. I mean, I'm not saying we cannot solve it using cancellation and arrows, but it may get a little complex. And, and you know, it will be very tricky to answer some of the questions using that method. Unless you do it very clearly, neatly and uh, in a manner in which you can answer all the questions, don't do it. Okay. See, this looks lengthy, but I'm sure when you do it yourself, it wouldn't take more than 60 seconds. I was explaining the process here. So it has taken so much of time, about 60 to 90 seconds. That's it. And once you've got the full output, I mean, full step-by-step uh, uh, -step process, answering questions becomes a cakewalk. Okay. Let's see. First one here, how many steps will be required to complete the given input? I think six steps, right? Up to step five and this is step six. This is step number six, remember. Okay, so six steps are needed. Which of the following is fifth element from the right end of step six? Fifth element from the right end. So one, two, three, four, five, 38, right? Fifth element from the right end is 38. Of course, this uh, second question here can be answered even without the arrangement. Because you know that, you know, step six will be the last step output. And fifth element from the right end will be obviously a number because you are arranging words and numbers in alternate positions. It has to be the third smallest number. So that way also logically you can answer it, but no need to worry when you have anyway done the full step-by-step -step process. Look at the next question now. Here's the next one. Which of the following is step two of the given input? So find out the step two of the given input. I think just compare with what we have here. E26, A15. So it should start with E basically. Step 2 should start with E. Option 1, option 3 and option 4 gets eliminated. Answer is either option 2 or option 5. Now check E26 A15. So E26 A15. 82 officer S44. 82 officer S44. R55. Yeah. Oh, but the last two are not in the correct positions. Right. We have 38 and P here. But in the answer option he is given P and 38. So I think even option two is eliminated. It, it matched up to the last point, right? So just don't mark the answer blindly, right? Verify, it, it can be made tricky like this. We may feel that everything is following, so mark this as the answer, but see, in the last two positions, they have swapped the uh, words and number. So answer has to be option five for this. Okay, don't, don't mark option two as the answer in a hurry. Getting it? Verify till the last point. Option five, look at the next question. I think two more questions with this. What are these questions? What is the position of reveal from the left end in the final step? Position of reveal from the left end in the final step. So here's the final step. Position of reveal from the left end. So first, second, third. I think third from the left end. Three will be the answer. Option two. Right? Next. Which element is third from the left in step one? Which element is third from the left in step one? Third from the left in step one. First, second, third. Third from the left in step one is 82. Option four. 